Oh hey, it's Wes. And I want to talk to you about one of my favorite new devices. This is the ISDT Power 200 charger. What does it do? Well, it charges everything. And what do I mean by everything? You have on the front here a USB-A charger that will charge via high power 5 volt or most of the quick charge standards. So if something charges over USB-A, this will give you the max output up to 24 watts. I don't even know of anything that charges at 24 watts over USB-A. That's, that's crazy. And then we have three other outputs, USB-C. Each of these will go up to 65 watts of USB-C power delivery. I've tried it with a wide variety of things from MacBook to uh, battery packs to other battery packs to USB cells. It charges everything at their max. Now, the MacBook Pro M1 16 inch max, however you want to say it, that will charge up to over 100 watts, but when using it, you're only going to be using between 30 and 60 watts 99% of the time. So this will charge while you're using a MacBook Pro, like the most powerful one at present. Plug it into here, good to go. And while doing that, you could be charging your phone and charging your iPad. So let's uh, I'm take this one here. I'm gonna plug this into my MacBook. Then I'm gonna take this one here and plug that into, no, I'm not gonna do my phone that way, that's too easy. I'm gonna take this one and plug it into this high power V-mount battery. So that's gonna be taking a lot of power. I'm gonna find an iPad. I'm gonna plug this one into my iPad. There we go right there, plug in this battery pack here. And then, at the exact same time, I'm gonna take my iPhone 14 Pro, I'm gonna slap that on the wireless charger. Kaboom. This is now wirelessly charging. Okay, that is a lot of power, but how much power? Here comes the next super interesting thing about this charger. We have the ISDT Link app which is nuts. This has Bluetooth, which allows you to one, monitor the power output, and two, actually look at the individual outputs. I can see that the USB-A is charging at 5.1 volts. It's not quick charge, but it's 4.1 watts, not bad. First USB-C is using power delivery 2.0. We wanna see a whole lot of power though. The third input output going to my V-mount battery, that is pushing out 50 watts of power, 20.2 volts USB power delivery 2.0. Then the last one where my MacBook is plugged in, USB power delivery 3.0, 20 volts, 11 watts. That's a lot of information. But can we get more information? And as I said before, so I'm using this powerful MacBook Pro. It is only drawing, let me crank the screen brightness up to maximum. It's only drawing 20 watts approximately. But I can go deeper. I can press this record button and bring up a full graph of the power being used by my MacBook Pro. Let me wiggle some stuff around here, get a little bit of work done, render some photos perhaps. So I'm drawing more power and I'm creating a chart of the power usage. This is some straight up scientific stuff going on here. And then when I'm done, I can stop recording and I can save a log file. I've created a log file and it is opened as a straight up CSV. It's already on my desktop. It's a spreadsheet with all of the charging data from that one device. This is crazy. And so now I am charging wirelessly to my phone, 7.9 watts. Everything is just pumping out the current and I am nowhere near the max power output of this device. I'm currently only using about 90 watts of power. This has way more to spare. Now, obviously this is not a travel charger. This thing is chonky. But there's a reason for that. It has a fan inside so that when we hit 200 watts, it'll cool down. Is it making any sound now? No, not at all. We've got a beautiful display. We don't even need to use the display. We can use the app. And through the app, we can even update the firmware. Since I got this charger, it has received several firmware updates. What have those firmware updates done? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, because it has worked great right out the box. Unlike 
another new ISDT product, which I'll talk about soon, the new NP2 Air Charger for Sony batteries. That has received firmware updates and become significantly better since the day it came out, so that's phenomenal. If you want a charger that will just charge everything without question, and sometimes you just want to plug something in and get it charged, you don't want to have to think about charging standards and cord types and wireless standards, this will do all the things. And as a huge nerd who uses a lot of power, this makes me enormously happy. So thank you ISDT for making this charger for nerds, this desktop charger. I can't wait for them to come out with maybe a smaller version of this perhaps for travel because 200 watts is a tremendous amount of power and overkill for most things. But this sits on my desk and if I need to charge something plus three or four other things, this gets the job done for me. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll get back to you. If you want to pick one of these up to help support this channel, again, there's going to be links in the description for that. Until next time, keep it charged, let's go take some photos.